when the measure of a value can take on a very large range of uh, values, we frequently compress that range using a logarithmic scale. For example, the Richter scale for describing the power released in an earthquake is a logarithmic scale, such that an earthquake that measures 3 on the Richter scale is 10 times larger than an earthquake that measures 2 on the Richter scale. In electrical engineering, when we're talking about frequency response of a filter, we're going to find that the range of the magnitude of the transfer function can vary over large values. When amplification is allowed, we will sometimes get as much as a hundred or a thousand times amplification in the pass band. And then in the stop band, we may see attenuation that may take it down to one one hundredth or one thousandth or one ten thousandth of its original value. Under these circumstances, when the max, when the, when the uh, amplitude of the frequency response can span such a large range of values, we frequently use the unit known as the decibel. And the decibel of a value x is defined as 20 times the log base 10 of x is known as the decibel. And to convert then x from a linear scale to this decibel scale, you simply take log base 10 of that value and then multiply it by 20. For example, um, in the transfer functions in the uh, frequency response circuits that we've been using, h max has been of interest, the maximum value of the frequency response. Well, in dB, that would be 20 times the log base 10 of H max. And in the current case, where we've been looking at the low-pass RL filter, where the maximum value is 1, then log base 10 of 1 is 0. And 20 times that, then, would be 0. Or, in the current case, the maximum value would be measured at 0 dB. And as it then decreases from an amplitude of 1 in the linear scale to 0.1, that would then be negative 20 dB down. Minus, uh, minus 0 0.01 would be minus 40 dB. I said that wrong. 0 0.01 down would be the same as minus 40, B, 40 dB, and so on. So let's just look at what that how that uh, plays out at the cutoff frequency. So at the cutoff frequency omega sub c, we know that the magnitude of the frequency response function, h of j omega, so h of j omega at omega sub c is equal to 0 0.707 times h max. So if we were to look at that in dB, it would take then 20 times the log base 10, uh, 0 0.707 h max. We have two things multiplied together, so using the log property of the the uh, product property of logs, that then gives us 20 log base 10 of 0 0.707 plus 20 log base 10 of h max. Well, get out your calculator and you'll find that the log base 10 of 0 0.707 is approximately equal to point or negative 0.15. So 20 times a negative 0.15, that is a negative 3. So if we rewrite this then in decibels, um, and I should have pointed out that we're talking about the magnitude of this now, in dB, the magnitude of H of J omega sub C then is equal to 20 log base 10 of H max minus 3. And the units of this then is decibel. So if our Bode plot, or our uh, frequency response, started at 1, in dB that would be 0. And this then represents the that value in dB. And then out of the cutoff frequency, omega sub c, the magnitude of the frequency response function is going to be 3 dB less than it was at the maximum. So if this is the maximum at a linear scale of 1 or 0 dB, over here at the cutoff frequency, it would be down 3 dB from its original. So if it was at 0 dB, we would be down here at minus 3 dB. Thus, yet another name for the cutoff frequency is the 3 dB frequency. 
So the cutoff frequency will sometimes be referred to as the cutoff frequency. It will sometimes be referred to as the half-power frequency and sometimes as the 3 dB frequency when we're talking about uh, or when we're referring to units of decibels. By the way, the, the abbreviation for decibel is dB, and I've been using that in here, down 3 dB.